In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for FeC2O4. This is iron two oxalate. To do this, first we recognize there's no negative or positive sign after the iron two oxalate. It's a neutral compound overall. So all the oxidation numbers here, they're gonna add up to zero. The key to being able to figure this one out, because we don't know what iron is, that's a transition metal. And then the carbon, we're not sure what that is either. So we have two unknowns, which makes it kind of challenging. But the key is realizing that C2O4 is called the oxalate ion. It's a polyatomic ion, and the whole thing has an ionic charge of two minus. So since the ion, when we have an ion, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to the charge, we know that the oxidation number here is gonna be minus two. So the iron has to be plus two. So we end up with zero. If we want to figure out the carbon here in the oxalate ion, we can do that as well. We could call the carbon X. We don't know what that is. Oxygen's almost always minus two, just a few exceptions. So now, because all of this equals the ionic charge, we could say two times X, two X, four times minus two, minus eight. That equals the oxidation number minus two, since all these oxidation numbers add up to the charge. Note with the charge, we put the minus after. So ionic charge, it's two minus oxidation numbers, the negative sign that goes before the number. So we have this, then we just solve for X. So we add eight to both sides, two X equals a positive six, solve for X. X is going to equal a positive three. So the oxidation number on each carbon here is gonna be positive three. So these are the oxidation numbers for each element in FeC2O4. So if we add up all the oxidation numbers for each atom together, it'll equal zero because this overall is a neutral compound. To recap, we were able to figure out that the iron was two plus because we knew this whole oxalate ion was two minus. Next, we then figured out the carbon here in the oxalate ion based on this rule here as well. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for iron two oxalate. Thanks for watching.